This is the trailing eagle. It's part jewelry collection. This particular pin was given to me by the president of Yemen. Part diplomatic arsenal. Did you ever think your pins would never. wind up in a museum? Never, never, never. Madeleine Albright made history as the first female secretary of state. Her brooch collection, or her pins as she calls them, have a history all their own. Would you say this is the most important pen in your collection, or at least the pen that started well, it this all? Well, is, this is, is the pen that started it all, because what happened was Saddam Hussein, after I'd come to the United Nations as ambassador, called me an unparalleled serpent. And I happened to have this snake pin, uh, and so I thought, well, when we deal with Iraq, I'm going to wear the snake pin. And for a conversation with a Russian diplomat about anti-ballistic missiles, he looked at it and he said, so is that one of your interceptors? And I said, yes, and we make them very small. For negotiations with the Palestinians, a B. Did people like Yasser Arafat say, Secretary Albright, I see the B. Well, he what are did, you trying he, to say? He gave me a beautiful butterfly, <laughs> so, I, so I think he like got a butterfly, it. Sting like Something a like that, right. Her vast garden of pens, cataloged in a new book and on display at New York's Museum of Arts and Design, are a visual biography of a diplomatic career. Through the years, she's collected around 300 of them. Some were purchased for special occasions. I thought, if by some miracle I'm Secretary of State, I might buy this pin for myself. And so I did go get it when I was named, and I thought, well, I'll wear it for my swearing in. Others were gifts from diplomats all over the world. This dove was given to me by Leah Rabin, who is the widow of um, Prime Minister Rabin, who had been assassinated. Some of her most precious pens came from everyday people, like this one from New Orleans. The two amethysts represent two purple hearts. All of a sudden, a young man came up to me with a box, and he said, my father is sitting over there, he's a D-Day veteran, and my mother died as a result of Katrina. My father had uh, given her this pin for their 50th wedding anniversary, and we think that she would want you to have it. And I kind of, I was undone. I really was undone. For Secretary Albright, the pins are more than the materials they're made of. As she broke the glass ceiling, and of course she has a pin for that too, she broke the ice with foreign ministers and paved the way for her sister secretaries, Condoleezza Rice and Hillary Clinton. My uh, seven-year-old granddaughter um, said to her mother, so what was the big deal about Grandma Maddie being Secretary of State? Only girls are Secretaries of State. And in her lifetime, except for a little bit of Colin Powell, it's been girls.